Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And at the Lakers, they've extended a qualifying offer to Talon Hoarder Tucker, a.k.a. THT, uh, making him a restricted free agent. And so it seems like he's not going anywhere free of free agency unless the Lakers opt to allow him to leave. But at least now they'll have the opportunity to, you know, match should they decide to do so and, or keep him, you know, in Los Angeles. So they really have more control over his future. And so this announcement was made Thursday that they have extended a qualifying offer to THT, making him a restricted free agent. The team did not disclose how much that offer was um, as per usual, but it's reportedly just on $1.9 million, a small price to make it so they can so they can match any offer that, you know, THT um, receives in free agency. Um, in short, it is now, according to this article, essentially up to the Lakers whether or not Horton Tucker will remain with the team or leave. They can either A, re-sign them to a new contract, B, uh, match a contract offer that he receives from another team to keep him. C, they could opt to let him sign somewhere else um, and renouncing this offer, you know, or just not matching the contract that another team gives him. Or they can do some type of, you know, sign and trade um, if that's what they want to do. But they have those options available to them. And so according to this, um, it says Bobby Marks said that the qualifying offer for THT is – one point uh well one um million eight hundred ninety seven thousand dollars there and the lakers have the early bird rights and can sign them up to a contract that uh, projects to start at 10.4 million and the contract must be a minimum of two seasons and so he goes on let's see and so they went on to explain um what happens if um, THD receives an offer sheet for more than um what the lakers can sign him for um, and so I'll just go ahead and look into it real quick. It says, you know, in 2019, the second round pick, um, he went from playing 38 games in the G League in his rookie season to averaging 20.1 minutes and nine points off the bench this season for the Los Angeles Lakers. However, in the first round series loss to Phoenix, you know, Horton Tucker was barely part of the rotation, playing a combined 13 minutes in game one and two and not playing at all in games three and four and the Lakers, you know, they have early bird rights on Horton Tucker, who signed a two year deal as as a rookie in 2019. The Lakers were, weren't permitted to sign them to a longer deal then because they used their cap space on other free agents. And obviously, you know, we know who those free agents are. Uh, and because Horton Tucker, you know, has early bird rights, LA can offer a contract with a first year salary up to 11 million, and that's 105% of the average player salary. If he signs an early bird deal, it would have to be at least for two years, not including any options. Um, well, not yeah, not including any option years. Um, and also, where um, things can get interesting is that teams with a cap space. Okay, one second here. Yeah, so um, teams with a cap space could backload a multi-year offer to Horton Tucker, giving him a significant raise in years three and four. One example of such a deal from a team that a 15 million cap space will look something like in 21, 22, about 9.53 million and 22, 23, about 10 million, 23, 24, almost 20 million and 24, 25, about 20.74 million totaling, totaling 60 million, averaging about 15 million um, per year in terms of if they have that cap space available. And so LA would obviously have the right to match the offer sheet, but would not be permitted to average out um, his contract because it's over the salary cap. You know, so this is setting up things to be pretty interesting there. I'll get back to the original article here, uh, but you could read that on ESPN. And if if he really wants to leave, the only way that, you know, he can do so now is to accept the qualifying offer, play out the year on a one point nine million dollar salary and then um, enter as an unrestricted free agent in 2022. And so that's pretty much, you know, where things stand at right now. But obviously, you know, it'll really be up to Lagos in terms of how do they envision THT for the long term future. Are you going to want to use him to perhaps package some type of trade? I know that they're looking to see, you know, what can they give up to acquire someone for particularly, it seems like at the point guard position that can come in 
And, you know, obviously help this Lakers team. They've obviously got LeBron. They've got um, AD. And when they're healthy, that's great. But they can certainly use a third guy who can get his own shot, create shots. And I already know that Kuzma is going to be involved in a lot of trade talks. So um, we'll see um, if THT is a part of that package as well, something to keep out for. But really interesting to see, you know, what the Lakers are going to choose to do with him moving forward. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Best way to help the channel grow and you'll stay up to, new, up to date with sport news as well. So definitely a win-win situation, I think. But with that being said, thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.